Alrighty hosses, welcome back and in this video I am going to show you how to create a simple pop-up window. Now there are a bunch of different kinds of pop-up windows that you can have. You can have kind of like a question where a pop-up window appears and the user has to select yes or no or you can just have a pop-up saying some alert and the user just closes it and doesn't do anything. And later on I'm actually going to show you how to have a file dialog pop-up. So whenever you hit file open then a dialog like this pops up and the user can select either a file or a directory. But that's in probably the next tutorial. For right now, I'm just going to show you guys how to create a simple, plain pop-up. And we'll put some buttons on it too. So, with that being said, the first thing that we need is a button. Now, this button is going to go on our main window. So, whenever our program first starts, our main window is going to pop up. And then the user will click a button and then the pop-up will appear. So our entire program is really going to consist of two windows, but one of them is going to be a pop-up. And all right, GTK button. Now on this button, I'll just write open a pop-up. All right, so add the functionality to actually open it and create it all later on. But for right now, we need to add button connect. And the event we're going to, or the signal is clicked. So whenever they click it, what do we want to happen? Well, we'll just make a function in a second called button clicked. And this is going to be the function responsible for essentially opening the pop up. So before we do that, we actually need to add this button to the screen. So self add button. And now we have a button that appears on our main window looking good. So now from here, what we're going to do is create this button clicked and check it out. So def button clicked and we need to pass in self and widget like always. Now from here, what I can do is I'm going to make a variable called dialog and this is going to be equal to a class that we're going to make called pop up. So check this out. You see up until this point, we just been working with this main class this main window now this entire class essentially represents that main window since we only made a simple program up to this point one window that's it but now what we're doing is we're making another window and that's going to be the pop-up so what we're going to do is we're going to make a whole another class i say a whole another one but it's going to take like two seconds and we're going to name that the pop-up class so this is still going to be your main window and this pop-up class we're going to create is for the new pop-up window so now that I have a reference to that, what I can do is this. Response equal to dialog dot run. All right. So whenever we make that other class, what we're going to do is we're going to call the run method on it, which is essentially a way to call your initialization method, which pretty much just starts the window. Now, what's going to happen is the pop ups going to appear and it's going to wait. It's going to wait for the user to do something and once they do something and close the window, the pop-up window, it's going to store the response in response. Now, if the pop-up window is like something like um, a question, like, are you sure you want to delete that? Yes or no? Then that's what it's going to return. Yes or no. Maybe they have to choose a value. So the response is going to be some number. But essentially, they open a window, do something, you get a response. And then after this, you can do whatever you want with the response, like submit their information to a website or whatever. So we're just going to do this. If response is equal equal to GTK response type. OK, and you can have customer responses, but there are also some responses that are built in. So like built into GTK is like an OK button and a cancel button. And this is just, I don't know, really simple to explain in these tutorials whenever we're learning. So if the user clicked the OK button, what do we want to do? Well, let's just print out you click the OK button. So in this little demo, the pop will just have an OK button and a cancel button. And we'll add a little prompt like, um, I don't know, like, are you sure you want to? look at pop-ups or something. All right. So elif response is equal to, equal to GTK response type cancel. So this is pretty much saying, did they click OK or click cancel? And if they click cancel,
not cancellate. That is actually how you spell it in French. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's not true. Actually, I'm almost positive because I just made that up off the top of my head. Cancellate. <laughs> Clearly not the French word for it. All right. Now, after this, what I'm going to do is just destroy the dialogue. And this pretty much just closes the pop-up window. So now we have the main window taken care of whenever the user first starts your program. So now all we have to do is make a separate class. And we'll just stick this in the same file. And I'll just call it class, what I call it, pop-up. There we go. Now, just like before, it needs to inherit. But instead of inheriting from window, we're actually going to inherit from GTK dialog. So GTK already has a bunch of functionality built in for pop-up windows or dialogs. So make sure we grab all that and inherit it into our fancy new class. All right, so I wonder if I can. All right, so after here, what we need to do is create that init method. And if I just copy this, make it a little bit easier. Now we're also gonna call self parent. So parent is a reference to that main window. So a pop-up window, it isn't just like a regular program, it's actually kind of inside another program. So the parent, again, like I said, is a reference to that. Now in here, in order to, it's kind of the common way you make a dialog called GTK, dialog, dunder, init, dunder. So double underscore init, double underscore. And then the parameters for this are self, title, and I'll just name this like a pop-up title. So this is going to be the title that appears on the pop-up window, not your main window. And now it needs a reference to the parent, so just always type parent there. And now what you can do is you can pass it in some value. Now this, I'll show you this one right here. So this is essentially a constant and not model, modal. It's a AL and not EL, so I don't know that throw you. What this is, is essentially a way that you can say this is a modal pop-up or modal window. So what that means is whenever this pop-up appears, the user isn't going to be able to do anything with the main program until they do something with the pop-up. So I'll show you. So whenever I open this dialog right here in this program, you see, I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I'm trying to click on the main window. I mean, I'm trying to close this tab. I can't do anything. So that's the functionality we're going for. And this is the behavior that this gives us. Basically, hey, we're blocking the main window until you take care of this pop-up. And that's it. So from here, what we can do, let me think of the easiest way. All right. So add, I'll show you guys, two more parentheses. And we're just going to add our buttons right now. So we have to add two buttons. But it takes two parts to add each button. The first one is what text do you want to appear on each button? And also, whenever the user clicks that, what response is it going to give? So you can just do something like this. Oh, uh, right. We'll make our cancel button first. So custom cancel text. So that's going to appear on the cancel button. And now, separated with a comma, the next thing is what response do you want to give? So if we just copy this, whenever the user clicks the cancel button, it's going to give the cancel response easy cheesy so you can also have built-in um so i don't know if you don't want to add your custom text there's also a bunch of other weird built-in so stock okay probably could just find it easier but hey now you guys can see all right wow that took way too long just to... all right so this is pretty much an incredibly lazy way of just writing OK on your button. But I mean, I might as well show you that too. Alrighty, so whenever the user clicks that, what happens is it sends the OK response. Now, another cool thing I want to point out is just like a regular window, you can also add attributes like this. So self set default size and I'll keep that to 200 102 and for the border width oh what did I put this one I'll put this one at 10 and for the pop-up I'll have it at 30 
why not and there you go so this is actually gonna work if we just um, run one other thing but right now we have a pop-up and it just has two buttons in it pretty boring and aside from that what the heck is the user supposed to think when just the buttons OK and cancel pop up I mean what am I agreeing to what am I trying to cancel out of I have no indicator so to get the area that appears above the buttons that you can actually give them a prompt or some text about what the heck this pop-up is all about you actually need to do this make a variable called area or whatever and set it equal to self get content area so again this is pretty much the space above the buttons and let's just go ahead and add a simple label to it so area add and you can make another variable as your label but I'm just gonna do it all in one big shebang so GTK label and I'll just write uh, wow this pop-up is so amazing so usually you would want to do something kind of useful here but whatevs all right so the last thing we need to do is just write self show all and that's just going to display everything and boom roasted there you go and by the way just to mention this real quick I usually just add the label right as a parameter whenever I have a label that I'm only using once just because it makes your code a little bit more condensed whenever I have a label that I'm going to use multiple times throughout the program then you usually want to set it equal to another variable because it's a lot easier to reuse that way so anyways let's go ahead and run this and see what I messed up alright so here's our main window and we added one button to the main window and it says open a pop-up click that and it says wow this pop-up is so amazing very cool and let's just click OK and click cancel and you see whenever we do then it prints out this so one last time now that we got kind of an overview of everything what we did in our main window is we created a reference to another class which was the pop-up class and then we kicked it off or initiated it so our program is sitting there whenever that pop-up pops up and it's waiting and as soon as the user clicks something then it completes and it returns a response and then you can handle the response however the heck you want so there you go hopefully you guys enjoyed if not then well <laughs> I guess I guess I just wasted your time but uh anyways thank you for watching I will see you next